January 12th, 2016, and I have done Salem's before for radiation, ash, and you should check that up on the uh, YouTube channel. But I had another request for new ports, and what's interesting about this is they both contain menthol, but the Marlboros do not use diammonium phosphate, whereas the, the new ports do use diammonium phosphate. And you can see it right on their website. One is a Philip Morris. Philip Morris is the, where we have it, the menthol box. Uh, you can see that they do contain the menthol, but no diammonium phosphate. And then the RG Reynolds, this is the Newport. And you can see that it does contain diammonium phosphate. So this should be an interesting test. It does also contain menthol. This should be an interesting test because one has the diammonium phosphate and the other doesn't. Now I think the diammonium phosphate is what contains the radioactive uh, elements in it. So let's see how they test with one being grown with diammonium phosphate and one without. December 12th, 2016, and this is the test on just the cigarettes with the papers, and this is going to be the Marlboro, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 6,034 total counts, max data point is 6, and average data point is 1.01, .01. now usually point fifty is the average background, so what it's telling me, I had it replaced right on the cigarettes. So we're going to do the whole, whole cigarette, we're going to do just the tobacco, and then we're going to do some ash and see which one contains more radiation. Now remember they say anything over a hundred is going to be dangerous. January 12th, 2015, and I have a request to test, and this time it's going to be some menthol marlboros. January 12, 2016, and these are the Newport cigarettes. 6,000 seconds, 5,860 total counts, 7 max data point, average data point is 0.98. And now these are just the cigarettes themselves. Just like that. January 12, 2016, and this is the Marlboro. Tobacco, 6,000 seconds, 5,880 total counts, 6 max data point, average data point is 0.98. And there's the pack of tobacco. January 13th, 2016, and here's the Newport Tobacco, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 6,012 total counts, 8 max data point, average data point is 1. And there 
is the Newport tobacco. All right, here you go. They're ashed up. There's about a tablespoon, probably at the most, of ash after the packs were incinerated. And this one is the Marlboro. That's the Newport. And I got to document almost everything because just remember, if I don't, then people could say, hey, I could be making this stuff up. So that's why sometimes the videos get quite long. Pushing over 100 CPMs easily. January 13th, 2016. And this is the ash from the Marlboros, the menthols. 6,000 seconds, 8,631 total counts. 7 max data point. Average data point is 1.44. So that's pretty busy there. See, it fluctuates. That's why you gotta do a 100 minute test. Oh. And there's the culprit. And it's not even the white ash, but it's pretty ashy. January 13th, 2016. And this is the Newport Ash, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 8,634 counts, 7 max data point. Average data point is 1.44. Believe it or not, it's the same as the Marlboro. There it went over a hundred. And there's the ash. January 14th, 2016, and here's the background for the menthol cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 2,775 total counts for max data point. Average data point is 0.46, which is just a little bit a tad below what I usually get. There you go, 30 CPMs, that's what it usually is. The burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. My conclusion on these menthol cigarettes is kind of perplexing because even though one contains diammonium phosphate and the, the other doesn't, the ash basically tests practically identical. It is 1.44. So maybe it's got to be coming up from somewhere else or they are using the uh, fertilizer and they're not listing it. I have no idea why it would be testing the same but it does. Where do you think it's coming from?
Background, menthol cigarettes. Background, menthol cigarettes. Background, menthol cigarettes. Background, menthol cigarettes.